Step 6. Verify cross-coupling. Six tests will be performed in this section to verify cross-coupling. Each test will be performed in monopolar mode with all modes set to their maximum power settings. In addition, the force triad will be in demo mode and the current set between 0 and 140 milliamps. Enable demo mode on the force triad by pressing the wrench icon on the right touchscreen. Press Enter Demo. Connect the monopolar foot switch to the force triad. Connect the red test lead to the left input jack of the monopolar 1 port on the force triad and then connect the opposite end of the red test lead to the variable high port on the QAES3. Connect the ESU dispersive safety lead to the REM port on the force triad and then to the variable low port on the QAES3. Press back on the QAES3 and then press F1 for generator output. Select a 200 ohm load. Insert an electrosurgical scalpel into monopolar 2 port of the force triad. Set cut and coag for left and center screens to maximum output. Press F4 on the QAES3 for start continuous. Mono 1 current. Press the monopolar 2 cut pure finger button on the scalpel and read the current on the QAES3, which should be between 0 and 140 milliamps. Repeat for monopolar 2 coag spray. UFP current. Connect the UFP adapter to the red test lead and then to the UFP port on the force triad. Press F4 on the QAES3 for start continuous. Press monopolar 2 cut pure finger button on the scalpel and read the current on the QAES3, which should be between 0 and 140 milliamps. Repeat for monopolar 2 coag spray. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop. Mono 2 current. Next, move the electrosurgical adapter into monopolar 1 and the red test lead into monopolar 2 left port on the force triad. Press the monopolar 1 cut pure finger button on the scalpel and read the current on the QAES3. It should be between 0 and 140 milliamps. Repeat for monopolar 1 coag spray. Bipolar current. Move the red test lead to the left output of the bipolar port on the force triad and then connect the black test lead from the right output of the bipolar port to the variable low port on the QAES3. Press the monopolar 1 cut pure finger button on the scalpel and read the current on the QAES3. It should be between 0 and 140 milliamps. Repeat for monopolar 1 coag spray. Disconnect the red and black test leads. Ligature 1. Use the special ligature test leads to connect the right and left outputs of ligature 1 on the force triad to the variable high and low of the QAES3. Press the monopolar 1 cut pure finger button on the scalpel and read the current on the QAES3. It should be between 0 and 140 milliamps. Repeat for monopolar 1 coag spray. Ligature 2. Move the special ligature test leads from ligature 1 to ligature 2 on the force triad. Press the monopolar 1 cut pure finger button on the scalpel. Read the current on the QAES3. It should be between 0 and 140 milliamps. 
Repeat for Monopolar 1 Coag Spray. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test and then press the back button. Remove all test leads.